Hello and welcome to eLearning Campus. In today's class, we are going to learn about types of software. First see the learning in this chapter. So in this chapter, we'll learn about software and its types, system software, application software, difference between system and application software, operational support systems and defragmentation. Okay, all computer system consist of two major components, hardware and software. The hardware refers to the physical equipment that are necessary for performing various operations like input, output, storage and so on. The software refers to a set of computer programs that are required to enable the hardware to work and perform these operations effectively. Let's try to understand what is software. As a human being, we all know how to perform our day-to-day -day activities and how to react in certain situations, isn't it? For example, when we feel hungry, we eat something. When we get tired of walking, we sit down. When we touch something extremely hot, we immediately remove our hand. Now, what happens when your teacher asks a question and you know its answer? Yes, you simply raise your hand or sometimes answer directly without taking permission, right? Have you ever thought what prompts you to raise your hand or to give your answer directly? Correct, it is the brain that gives us the instructions to act and react in certain manner. We all react differently to different situations. Similarly, a computer gets all the instructions from the software to perform various tasks. Software is the soul of a computer without which it cannot exist. That means the computer as a machine cannot do anything for you without the software. Software is required for the functioning of computer. Software programs instruct computer about the actions to be performed so as to get the desired output. The purpose of this chapter is to introduce you to the different categories of software. What is software? Software is the collection of programs that are stored and run on the computer hardware and help users to work on the computer. Software is the part of a computer which cannot be touched or seen. Basically, computer is a machine that does not possesses any intelligence of its own. A computer without instructions is like a car without a driver. It requires a set of instructions given by a user to work on. These sets of instructions are called programs which are written in computer languages. We can say that software gives life to the hardware and therefore the software is popularly referred to as the soul of the computer system. On the basis of this, we can divide software into two types, system software and application software. So, types of software. A computer software performs two distinctive tasks. The first task is to control and coordinate the hardware components and the second one is to enable the user to accomplish their required task. So the software that is used to achieve the first task that is to control and manage the hardware is known as system software. And the software that is used to achieve the second task that is to enable users to accomplish their required task is known as application software. Now system software further divided into three parts. First, operating system, second, utility software, and the third is language processor. In the same way, application software in two types. First is general purpose application software and the other one is specific purpose application software. Now let's try to understand the connectivity between system software, application software, and hardware. So the system software is used for operating computer hardware, whether it is the input device or output device. 
On the other hand, application software is used by users to perform a specific task. It cannot interact directly with the hardware. They can't even run without the presence of system without the presence of system software. We need system software in our system to use the hardware effectively and efficiently. Basically, the system software is essential for a computer to work. And the application software is the additional software required for the user to perform a specific job. First, we'll start with system software. System software is defined as a collection of programs that controls the overall operation and internal working of a computer system. It reads data from input device and transfer the processed information to the output devices. System software is a set of programs that control and manage the operations of a computer hardware. It also helps application programs to execute perfectly. System software are designed to control the operation and extend the processing functionalities of a computer system. System software ma makes the operation of a computer more fast, effective and secure. There are three main types of system software we have. First is operating system to operate a computer. Second one is utility software to managing a computer. And the third one is language processor translating the program into machine language. Now let's try to understand what is application software. Application software, softwares are sets of programs developed by programmers in order to perform a specific types of jobs, like beautifying the documents, doing calculations, arranging data in an organized manner, making airline or railway reservation systems, and so on. The software that enables users to accomplish their required task is known as application software. So application software is a type of computer program that pre performs a specific personal, educational and business function. Each program is designed to assist the user with a particular process which may be related to productivity, creativity, communication, or entertainment. The application software can be further divided into two categories. First is the general purpose application software, and the other one is specific purpose application software. So here we have finished with the main types of the main two main types of software system software and application software. In our next class, we'll learn about operating system.